everyone. So I am on here because there's something on my heart to share with you guys. It's a really prophetic dream from this morning and I feel really compelled with an urgency to go ahead and share it. So I'm going to go ahead and share it. And let me just open up with a little bit of prayer. Father God, I thank you for this moment to encourage other believers and even to reach those that don't yet know you, Jesus. Please give me the right words, Holy Spirit, and use this video to reach whoever it is that it's supposed to reach. In your most beautiful and mighty and glorious name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, this morning I had this dream, and in the dream I was in a living room of a house that I've never been in before, but... Needless to say, there were family members there. And I only remember one of them. And this particular person's a believer. And this particular believer was busy doing something like making dinner and or, or lunch. I don't know, making a meal. And in the dream, I began talking to her and, and, and explaining to her what's happening on September 26th and 27th. And how I believe that that could be the Daniel 927 covenant that's signed. And how, if that's the case, then we have to be gone before that. And I was talking about how um, there was something that Trump just signed uh, the other day, I think, uh, that has to do with the dividing of Israel. And I was tying it in with the Abraham Accords that had started a while back, like last year or the year before. The date escapes me. But... And, and she started to explain why she didn't believe that, oh, that's not the covenant because of something, something. But she couldn't, she couldn't finish because she was interrupted. So all of a sudden, I think this might have been what interrupted her, but I'm not 100% sure. But all I remember is shortly after that, I heard a loud shofar blast outside. And my ears perked up and I was so excited. And it was something like, I don't know if I'm going to get the exact pitch correct, but it was like, Ooh, and it was like, Ooh. so it was kind of like that. It sounded more like a shofar than a trumpet. So I ran to the back door. I opened it up. I was looking at the sky and in the dream, it was, it was daytime, which is weird because usually it's nighttime in my dreams. And I heard it again. And all of a sudden I said, Jesus, like I was so excited, but the other people in the house, as far as I could tell, were not excited. Like they, they, it was like, they didn't even care. And I don't remember who else was in the dream, but I was just like, oh, I heard, I heard maybe like three to five trumpet blasts I, or so far blasts. I don't know if they were, um, if there was just three, or if there were five, but I, you know, I just thought about like when I woke up, how there's so many people in the body of Christ. And perhaps if I'm getting the interpretation right, perhaps the family represents brothers and sisters in Christ. There's a lot of them that are not excited about the return of Jesus. And that part grieves my heart. But the fact that he gave me a dream with multiple shofar blasts, I've never heard a shofar in a dream before. I've heard some, like, I, I heard some back in 2020 at like 4.44 in the morning outside. They were faint, but I heard them. And there was another one I heard at the mall, like about, um, I think two months ago, I wanna say. But I've never had them in a dream. And the fact that there's multiples, I just believe that that's a wake up call and it is a warning. I don't know if it's a certain number of days. Like, I, I'm not sure, but I know that this week is super high watch because of things that are coming together. We know that there's supposed to be um, a change in the economic system come, you know, September 30th into October 1st. We know uh, we're supposed to go cash potentially by the end of this month. And we have the five red heifers that were verified by a rabbi. I learned that off of Watch Woman 65's channel um, that are ready for the third temple, which doesn't have to be built now. It can be built during the tribulation because the sacrifices don't need to be done right now. They need to be done later in the tribulation. So that is all just, it's so exciting. My eyes are peeled for the Lord. I can't wait. And a lot of you feel the same way. And I also, you know, the Holy Spirit prompted me to remember the time I woke up. And the time I woke up after that dream was 618. And that means to receive 
like it means to receive to oneself. I have to get the definitions in my phone and I can't get it right now, but look it up in Strong's. It means to receive 618 and it also means storehouse. And we are his grain harvest. And we are still in the summer harvest until the, the, the spring equinox. Until the, the fall, the summer and fall equinox. So I'm watching this time. My eyeballs are peeled. I don't even think we're going to make the time that the you know people in Israel are celebrating what they call Feast of Trumpets on their calendar. I think there's a strong possibility we could be gone before that. And I'm also still watching for Beetlejuice to explode into a supernova. So I don't know exactly how it's all going to pan out, but it really looks like this could be it. So stay watchful, stay vigilant. If you don't know Christ, please accept this free gift of salvation with a repentant heart. And if you're going to pray a, a salvation prayer, you have to, you have to mean it. You have to, um, you know, accept his free gift of salvation, what he did on the cross and how he rose after three days, according to the scriptures. And that's found in first Corinthians 15, one through four. So please invite Jesus into your life if you have not. And if you want me to pray for you, or if you're a new believer, who just came to Christ, please um, connect with me in the comments. I'd love to talk to you about that. Um, and answer any questions you might have. But I love you guys, and I send this message with love, and I pray that you stay watchful, and you stay strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. And for now, I'll see you here, there, or in the air, hopefully in the air. Bye for now.